Now let's talk about hotspots. And a hotspot is a place in um, a video, a specifically a 360 video that um, has some interaction layered on top of it to trigger uh, something to happen. So in most cases, it would be like this. I'm just gonna hit play to show you what I'm talking about. So I've started my scene. I'm back here in the plaza. You can see my little blue circle looking around. That's where my gaze is. And there's a hot spot, um, which is a UI object over there. And as soon as I make contact with it, then I'll be transported to a different video, which is essentially you know where the hot spot was so this is a great way to add in branching narratives into your 360 videos or get people to travel from uh, one location to the next especially if the locations are near each other um, you know this is an in this example we're starting in the back end of the plaza and then we see the hot spot to go to the viewpoint and we make contact with it and move to the viewpoint so I'm using my hotspot example gaze scene here. Again, this is one of the scenes included in the sample project. This is using gaze interaction, but based on what we just covered in the last section with VR controller interaction, you could probably figure out how to um, use hotspots with VR interaction. Let's take a look at what's going on. So I have this hotspots game object here. And you can see there's a hot spot kind of overlaid on top of my scene. However, this the video that's showing in the background now is um, is the old video. So I'm just gonna hit play to get it to switch back to the correct texture. There we go. Okay. So let's see where our camera is. I'm going to click on our camera here. All right, so our camera is facing this way. Um, and right now we can't see anything because that fade out overlay image is covering it up. I'm just going to turn that off. All right, now we can see where the hotspot is. OK. So I'm going to go back to my hotspots game object and see that it's actually just Unity UI rendering in world space. And I have a hotspot manager script on my hotspot game object. Now, my hotspot manager script is very similar to my menu manager script. You can think of my hotspots just as menu items, except instead of being organized into a traditional menu like we saw in the last scene, these hotspots are placed around the, uh, around the video. Uh, so we have one hotspot in the scene, and that is this hotspot right here. All right, and I just overlaid it in a way so that it, you know, I could move it around a bit and get an idea in the in the camera in the game view what you know what the camera is going to see. So I put it right around here just because that seemed like the closest space to where we were traveling to next, which is the um, the viewpoint all right and on my hotspot I I made sure that this is a button and it has a box collider on it and a VR interactive item script and then it has this hotspot button gaze script um, so what this script does is this activates the um, the selection image on my camera UI to become active when I go over the, uh, the hotspot itself. So let me show you how that works. So we can see right now, I just have the small blue circle. As soon as I go over the hotspot, this highlighted image over the camera is becoming active. And what that hi where that highlighted image is, is it's here on my main menu camera gaze. If I go to VR camera UI, you might remember this from before. I have a normal reticle 
then I have a highlighted reticle and the highlighted reticle becomes active based on this uh, script here, the hotspot button gaze script. And um, I have hide on start selected, meaning that my highlighted image will be hidden on start. And my fill image, using fill image means that um, the image is gonna fill over a duration of two seconds. And once those two seconds are up, we're gonna call an on click event on this button here. And then we can go to our video manager to determine which scene is going to be loaded. Here we have scenes to load. Um, element zero, we're going to load 2D lookout scene based on the element zero of the hotspot manager. So I'm going to go ahead and add another hotspot so that we know how that works. Um, and I'm going to make a hotspot that goes to my waterfront scene, my uh, 3D waterfront scene. So first I need to go to my video manager game object and under scenes to load, I'm going to update that size to two because we're going to have two scenes that we could load from this starting scene. And element one is going to be 3D underscore waterfront. And someday I'll learn how to spell. Okay. 3D underscore waterfront, that matches up to the name of this scene here that I want to load from uh, this point. Now I want to figure out where I should put my hotspot. Just going to look around the scene here, what makes sense. Um, you know, there's not really like a natural, natural spot that might go to the waterfront, but maybe, maybe over here. Just not, not anywhere that could be confused with this spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this hotspot here and I'm just going to uh, copy and paste a new one and I'm going to rename this to be hotspot2. Uh, so now this hotspot has all the same functionality as the original hotspot. It's a button, um, it has a box collider on it, a VR interactive item, and it has that hotspot button gaze script on it and then I'm just gonna move it Let's say we wanted to rotate it this way we want to have it over here maybe I'm gonna go ahead and move my camera as well so we can get an idea of what that's gonna look like Okay, so I want my hotspot to be kind of lined up with where my gaze is right now. So I'm just gonna kind of move it around until it looks right. And you know, there's no like perfect way to do this because you're just kind of overlaying UI on top of videos. So you definitely have to make sure that you're checking in the game view what the camera sees to make sure it looks right uh, because it might look right in the scene view uh, but then you know the, the game view is what we really care about here okay so I'm adding the hotspot over there and then I'm gonna go to my hotspot manager and specify that there are two hotspots in my scene and drag that new hotspot here so uh, this works very similar to the menu manager script where we're going to be binding um, binding these hotspots in scenes to call select scene for a new scene. So all these hotspots do is load a new scene when you interact with them. Now you might want to do something else with your hotspots. You might want uh, hotspots to uh, cause some sort of um, noise to play or maybe a 3D model comes out uh, you can configure them however you like and let's see this in action I'm just gonna move my camera back to face forward where it is 
All right, so hitting play now. And I have op two options for the hotspot. I have this option. And then over here, I have this option. And this is gonna load my waterfront scene. Oh, we got a little warning down there. What's that say? Object of type animator has been destroyed. You're still trying to access it. We are trying to... Ah! I turned off the fade out and it was trying to access the animation on the fade out image here. So let me just make sure that my fade out is turned back on. And then we should be able to get that without the warning. All right, so my fade out's back on. Gaze over the hotspot. There we go. And no warnings. So I encourage you to um, explore this scene on your own and figure out you know, what you could do with hotspots. It might be a good exercise to create a controller-based hotspot, combining what we just learned in this piece of the session with the last piece.